Three new assistants are working in Dunedin schools as part of a renewed effort to ramp up Mandarin language teaching in the city. The New Zealand-China Friendship Society is a supporter of the move and its secretary Colin Child joins us. Good evening. Okay. Colin, tell us a little bit about the initiative and who's behind it. The initiative aims to increase the opportunity for students to learn Mandarin and Chinese culture. It comes from the Confucius Institute and they are providing young Chinese teachers in our schools to do this and our local branch supports that. Where are the new assistants working? We have two teachers in Clutha and three in Dunedin here. So how many schools are taking up the opportunity? There's about 20. So there are primary schools, uh, intermediate schools and the high schools as well. Hmm. Um, Columba College has had a long established program so they've got a teacher working with senior students and some of the other schools are gradually introducing Mandarin into their curriculum with the help of the Mandarin language assistants. Why do you think teaching Mandarin is so important? Learning any language is important for young people, but given the place of China in our world today and New Zealand's relationship with China, any opportunity to learn language and culture is going to be beneficial. Hmm. Tell us a little, little bit about the organisation that you represent. What is its main purpose? China Friendship Society has been around for 60 years. Um, group of people with a shared interest in friendship with China and Chinese culture uh, and there's just a groundswell of increase in interest in Mandarin now. We have a program of language teaching for adults and it's been oversubscribed so we're really encouraged by that. And why did you get involved? Uh, primarily my wife encouraged me because she learnt Mandarin and I was struggling. Uh, but we have had opportunities to meet wonderful Chinese people and to visit China. Mm. Now, it's never an easy task to learn a new language. How hard is it to learn Mandarin? Um, surprisingly, it's, it's not any harder than any other language if you're a young person. For an old codger like me, it's quite hard. <laughs> but that's why we want the young people learning. Now, if somebody was going to learn Mandarin, what would you say are some of the benefits of that? If you're a traveller to China, it makes life a little more comfortable. If you're a business person, it opens up opportunities more easily. Mm. If you're a young student, it opens up a whole world and new culture. And that's what these language assistants are providing. From the New Zealand-China Friendship Society, Secretary Colin Child, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.